Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Joe, obviously we're dealing with a prototype aircraft here, but you're flying the one and only Kestrel in the known universe for the moment, so I gotta ask, how is it? It is a fun airplane to fly. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, but it's a really easy and docile airplane to fly. Uh, anybody could hop in that and fly it. If you're used to flying a Cirrus, you could hop in and fly this. And with the trailing link landing gear, anybody can land. Every landing is beautiful. It's great in crosswinds, never run out of rudder authority, so we don't even know what the crosswind limitation is on this yet. Um, it's a very easy to handle aircraft. It's a wonderful airplane to fly. Can't oh, yeah. wait to fly with you. I can't wait either. Now we just did an air-to-air -air mission, had a just a tremendously good time uh, flying over the St. Augustinian area and over the coast and in and out and the whole nine yards and gear tractions, peel outs, the whole bit. Look good. The airplane looks really, really solid in flight. What kind of performance numbers is a prototype? And I'm going to emphasize prototype all the way through because you know how it goes when you get to a production vehicle, your mileage may vary. But what kind of numbers are you flight planning now? What is an average for this particular vehicle and where do you think it'll go from there? Well, as you know, this airplane's not uh, pressurized yet, so our limit's 250. Um, about the fastest we've gone is uh, 320, and that will be roughly our target speed in production. Typically, I'm flight planning a little bit slower for range uh, back, you know, 280. But the interesting thing is with the current engine we have now, we may not keep that engine depending upon uh, what supplier we go with, but we're climbing at 4,000 feet a minute uh, through at least 12,000 feet. It's a, a blast to fly in that sense. Um, you know, it climbs as fast as the Falcon 10 I used to fly, only it continues a massive climb rate up to my cruise altitude. You know, in just a few minutes I'm at uh, the flight levels and pulling back on the power and uh, going long distances. We're targeting uh, 1,200 plus nautical mile range, uh, and obviously our nearest competitor would be the PC-12, only we're roughly you know, half the size. Interior-wise, it's about the size of a C-90, so if you're familiar with uh, that cabin space and happy with that, it's the perfect airplane, if you don't mind the single engine. What about runway requirements at this point? In the UK, we flew out of a 2,000-foot grass strip. Again, it depends on weight and many other variables, of course, density, altitude, and all the obvious, obvious things. But um, it's a short-field airplane, very much like the PC-12 in that sense. Very fun to fly, and I can load up the aircraft with uh, passengers and fuel and take off out of relatively short strips, so almost every airport in America is available uh, uh, to us with this aircraft. Freedom through innovation. It's what led us to develop Cirrus Flying 2.0, the framework for a bold new take on private aviation, and as a result, the gap between the aircraft we produce and those of our competitors continues to widen. Cirrus knows where the personal aircraft industry is headed. We're already there. You just spent the weekend up at MBAA over at Peachtree DeKalb on display. What was the general feeling about people taking a look at the airplane for the first time? What, uh, what was the feedback you were getting? We had a lot of excitement. In fact, every air show we've been to so far, it's amazing the excitement we've uh, generated. Out at Reno just a few weeks ago, even uh, Mr. Rutan came up and said it was one of the coolest projects he'd ever seen, so he's really excited about it. And everybody we talked to, uh, lots of uh, aviation enthusiasts that uh, came up to us from, from all walks of aviation. You know, immediately the first people that come up are our current Pilatus, uh, TBM850 and King Air uh, pilots and owners that are looking for something like this with the performance that we offer. And in the price range of uh, two and a half to, to three million, uh, not many people can touch us for the, uh, the price. Well, the overall numbers are obviously impressive and it's the thing that's got everybody's tongues wagging at this point. If you can keep those numbers and even knowing Alan's just one of those guys who can't leave anything alone and he picked this airplane for a reason, but well, I'll tell you what, with all those numbers to keep that through, especially in that price range, the airplane's definitely going to have a place in this world. 
Absolutely. This thing's going to sell all over the world. It's going to have a fantastic market, obviously, in the USA, but uh, in, in Africa, Asia, South America, any place that, that requires a shorter field aircraft, but people that want long range and uh, a large payload. You look what's out on the market to choose from, and, and this will fit most people's uh, requirements, I think. You know, unless you need the extra cargo capacity of, of a PC-12, which is a fantastic airplane. I love flying them, flown them all over the world. Uh, typically, when I flew those, I only had uh, two to four people in the back, so this may be a uh, fantastic aircraft for for many people well joe i know you got to get your way down to the keys it's a dirty thankless job and thank god there are guys like you to do it have a wonderful time and uh thanks so much for flying with us today hey my pleasure i can't wait to fly with you again and uh, put you in the left seat of the kestrel sounds like a plan you got it hey, thanks a lot.